So, ha Maru versus Harston. Game 3 ROG. Game 3 ROG. Okay, I will write that down. Thank you, guys. I have now two people recommending that to me. So that probably means I should check it out, huh? Thank you, guys. If you ever see an awesome game, let me know. Cool. cool. Thank you. Yeah, I will definitely see. If they uh, release the replay pack, which I think they will, um, I'll make sure to cast it. Do, 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 do. You love the YouTube videos? Hey, thank you, man. Yesterday I posted uh, Serral versus Raynor. Didn't actually get as much traction right from the get-go as I thought it would. Like, I thought Serral versus Raynor... I mean, I thought that would be the video that would get the most views this week, but it's actually like at the bottom, interestingly enough. Maybe that's just the time of the day, or like, you know, there's like a million different reasons why, but... You know what you're watching for dinner tonight? Nice. Yeah, it could also be due to the fact that it's a pretty long video. It's like an hour and 15 long. That's kind of a commitment, right? ZVZ. Oh, I, I really don't like that meme, man. ZVZ at the top level, especially Radar versus Cero, is insane. You're one of those now as well. Are you also one of those, Heartnapper, that posts minus 400, minus 400 in Twitch chat whenever a mothership dies and you're convinced that it's a bad unit? <laughs> that is one of the dumbest Twitch chat memes ever. Motherships are so good. It's kind of funny, though. Do -do 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 -do. Minus four hundred, minus three hundred. Is that a battle cruiser? New subscriber detected. Hey, night dreams. I am finally reunited with Lenny after one hour, low Z. Oh, you didn't have Lenny for one hour? My God, must have been tough. Worst hour this week. How are you doing, buddy? That sounds awful. I can't imagine that. Oh wait, your new Carbold Zerkling came in. Uh, let me see. I have tracking info. I bookmarked it. It's in transit for nine days now is what it says. Arrived at sorting factory in Shenzhen. Departed airport of origin. Uh, it departed yesterday in, uh, in Shenzhen in China. So... It'll probably be next week. I don't know. I'm not sure, man. How is it, Invisi? Zerklings can fly? No, 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 they have their own airplanes. They're royalty in, uh, in China. They have private planes. It's just a really slow plane, takes about a week. It's very fluffy. Nice. Your cat sniffed it. And was like, yeah, whatever. That's good. That's a good sign. Means you won't wake up one morning and have it absolutely decimated. That's good. Oh, one more echo of mortality, boys. 
I've had this quest for uh, about a month now. Still haven't finished it because it takes, I don't know, great luck or something. Not sure exactly. Oh, I have to kill Sarah Wright. I think that one spawns in here. He sniffed it and went back to cleaning himself. I've noticed cats spend a lot of time cleaning themselves. Do you think that maybe we should take that as a hint? That we should be spending as much time every day cleaning ourselves? Oh, it didn't actually drop in the Shadowlands in the first couple days. Oh, I didn't even realize that part. Where's Sarah, man? Do you think Sarah spawns up there, maybe? Tar Sarah. She just died somewhere. Do you see your target on the minimap? How do you, uh, I don't know where she would be at. Is she underground? Ooh. But I can target her from here, though. She just despawned somewhere. She didn't, like, I was in here for like five minutes. All right, well, like one minute. Oh, she's, oh, she is alive. How do I get over there? Hello. Oh, it's over here. Uh, she's gonna be dead again. That's a shame. Ooh. Oh, 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 I got a hit. I got a hit. <laughs> nice. I helped, I swear. No worries, uh, General Draven. It was a hard, hard job. I shot one arrow straight between her eyes. She died right away. It's gone on NKA. Loco isn't playing StarCraft 2 24-7. People still play StarCraft 2 24-7? That seems like a hard job, man. <sighs> Have you ever tried playing StarCraft 2 for 24 hours? I feel like it's really bad for your mental health. What's up, Nico? I think this is the thing, by the way, that we get as a mount. These right here. Pretty sick. You're still waiting for two twins for 24, 24 hour streams? Where each stream's 12 hours and nobody notices? Dude, that's pretty clever. Yeah, there have been some insane stream durations on stream. I know of a streamer that uh, streamed for 90 plus hours. But uh, it turned out after the fact, uh, that, uh, that may have not been entirely natural. So that's kind of messed up. Like, people will always try and push that further and further and further, right? It's kind of messed up. Yeah, I think they put caps on it these days. New subscriber detected. What's going on, Iris John? Palm, I had to redo my sub. Ha ha, low high. Oh my god. John, are you a hater of the stream? John, why do you hate my stream so much? What did I ever do to you, man? No, I'm just kidding. Welcome back. <laughs> you let your sub run out? 
Thank you very much, John. Welcome back for your fourth month. Or fourth month, rather. What's this? Hey, that's the thing! That's the thing, I need it. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. You're not here daily, but I, you came back to me? Aw, that's true love. You were still thinking of me even if you weren't here though, right? That's good, man. <laughs> hey, I think I got the quest line started, guys. You let me go and I came back. That's beautiful. <laughs> I knew we had something special, John. You watched Winter? What? What is this? First you uh, accidentally uh, let your sub run out and then you admit to watching Winter instead? I can't believe this. It's treason then. How am I supposed to kill this guy? Oh, actually he's not that strong. What's going on, Ben? How are you doing, dude? Two days in a row? My god. <laughs> Thank you, I. <laughs> Thank you, John. You think I can kill this guy by myself? All by myself? All by myself. And this priest. But mostly by and this guy maybe myself. Another hunter as well. Is it okay that I have no idea what's going on? So basically, I'm shooting arrows at things. Whatever things one wants to be hit by my arrows. Now I'm currently doing some uh, some quests in this zone. These are all uh, these are all side quests. I got a rare drop earlier today. Uh, no, I'm good, man. I got a rare drop earlier today, which is also why I'm in this area. New subscriber detected. I finally got to max level so I can watch the stream again without spoilers. Feels good, man. Yo, Mr. Ozzy. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for your support. Vibe. Wait, you watch Vibe to learn not to be a noob. Winter to see a spaz and loco for advanced tips and general feel goods. Nice. So you're poly streamers, is what you're trying to say. That's very modern of you. I didn't realize we were in such an open relationship without ever discussing this, but. I'm okay with it. I watch Loco for the knowledge about Dutch culture. <laughs> yes, I am by far the most Dutch person ever. Me doing my stream in English and... You know... Constantly asking and informing about other cultures and stuff. I am... Definitely... The stereotypical Dutch person. I did pronounce you guys- oh yeah, I did teach you guys how to pronounce Gouda. Gouda. Now teaching and knowing how to actually say that word is not the same thing. You come here for ripping on Belgium? Okay, that's good. Ripping on Belgium is an important part of Dutch culture, okay? That's very important. Whenever the opportunity presents itself, which doesn't happen nearly as often as you'd imagine in day-to-day -day life, but whenever there's an opportunity to rip on Belgium, you gotta take it. That's just a social contract you enter in when you're Dutch. Chowder makes me think of chowder, but set by someone from Boston. I don't know what that means. Well, I know what it means, but... 
We do the same with the Netherlands, don't worry. Good, good. Don't, uh... Don't English people do the same thing with, like, Scotland or something? I'm sure that's a thing. Maybe you have to go further up north or something, I don't know. Excuse me, what's this? It's Ireland versus Northern Ireland? Oh, right. I'd say it's more us and the French. The Scottish do in fact hate us. Right. What's going on, small kitten? How are you doing? Yeah, Scotland has a bunch of reasons. I remember the whole Brexit referendum and seeing like the map <laughs> about where things were voted on. And let's just say Scotland didn't really agree with the rest of the UK. So there's there's been many, many reasons over the years. I think that's probably one of the big ones recently. New subscriber detected. What's going on, Venom? I've never actually been to Ireland. Every time I go to uh, Home Story Cup, there's always a group of Irish guys. They're always drunk. <laughs> like, even when they get in there in the morning, it feels like they're already drunk. I don't know how to do it. But they're really funny. They're really great guys. Every time I'm there, they're like, Loco! They like, get very, like, you know, they, they have to hug and everything, right? They're like, Loco, you have to come. You have to come to, uh, to Ireland, to the StarCraft tournament. I remember last time uh, they said, like, yeah, yeah, we said, you know, the same thing to Roddy, and Roddy said, you know, he would come. So I asked Roddy, he's like, I have no idea what this is on about. Like, I have no idea what they're saying. <laughs> they're cool guys, though. <laughs> beer after beer, yep. So that that's my only, like, I don't have a lot of experience with people from Ireland, but they are very friendly. So I'm sure the entire country very friendly. That's how that works, right? Loco, that's the last of the... least of the things English have done to the Scottish and Irish. But at that point, my family was Scottish. Oh, okay. Good old Scotland. What? Oh. Nice. And Vizzy sent me these yesterday. Uh, is it all lagging again? What's going on? Why did it not loot? I don't know if it's lagging. Uh, no, I did not join the vampires. I decided to join the Night Fae. They're pretty cool. Good background music? Yeah, the music in this game is phenomenal. I hear you have seen Master. Did he mention me? In general, uh, Blizzard has always done a really good job with that. Loco, are those things at the bottom skills you can cast? Yep, these are all the different skills I currently have on my hotkey bar. I have a bunch more. But, um... That's about it. There you go. How do you reach all of them? Uh, I use I use hotkeys for these. So you can see like a little button in the, or a little, little little hotkey in the top right hand corner of each and every one of them. That's usually the way you uh, you use them. Loco, if I get a DLC, the Shadowlands DLC plus a sub, I'm ready to play WoW. Yeah, but if you're currently not playing, you can also just, uh, you can play for free up to level 20, I believe. So you can just, like, level 20 these days is actually quite a bit. Because they just did a level squish. So, you know. Darkest 
Greetings. That's basically the equivalent of hitting level 40 or so in the past. So basically all you need to do is just download the game and just play. And whenever you need to continue onwards, they will like tell you if you need to like, do something. But I believe you only need to buy Shadowlands. Yeah. Yep, WoW still does have a monthly subscription. The Ritual of Atonement. Oh god, what do I need to do? Fortnite? New Wait! Detected. Fortnite has a monthly subscription? Hey, Nico, thank you for gifting us up to Lay. Or Law, rather. Thank you, man. You don't need it to play, but they're bringing in a monthly sub thing. Yeah, they gotta pay for that uh, that Apple uh, lawsuit at some point, right? <laughs> like, that's not free, man. That, that lawsuit was one of the dumbest ones in gaming history, though. I'm not saying they were necessarily wrong. But to take the moral high ground is a little ironic. Mm -mm -mm. I did just say the F word, yeah. The Apple tax. Yeah, I know. I did say the F word. I said F Fortnite. It's pretty disgusting. Whatever happened to that lawsuit? Apple basically proved that... Like, I don't really know the specifics, so I don't want to use the, the, the wrong words, but... They did not get there right. Let's leave it at that. From what I understood, it basically... Uh, they were saying that... Uh, Apple essentially had a monopoly. Greetings. On a bunch no of stuff. Because you can't really do a whole lot on mobile, for example, without Apple. It's been a little while. I don't remember the exact specifics. Apple just kicked Fortnite off the App Store? Yeah, that's one of the things that happened, huh? I believe they're welcome back at some point, though, if they want to. But hey, if you have the moral high ground, right? They're gonna be back on the App Store at some point, though. Can almost guarantee it. It's all to do with money, basically. Like, two billion, uh, well, actually, for Apple, I guess it's now multiple trillions, right? Anyways, two big-ass companies shouting at each other. How much, how much is Apple worth at this point? Apple worth. I thought that they passed the 2 trillion mark or something stupid like that. How do you find this sort of thing out? I'm not entirely sure. In 2018... Apple's market cap was 1.8 or 1.5% of global GDP. That's crazy. <laughs> That's nuts. Yeah, they're worth 2 trillion now. That's actually insane though. Wait, what else is insane? I literally say the word insane. There's a cow sitting in front of me called insane the insane. That's pretty insane. Apple becomes first company worth more than two trillion dollars. But I, I was reading on Reddit and every single time that I read on Reddit, people convince me that Tim Cook is the worst CEO ever. And that Steve Jobs would have done a better job or something like that. I'm not sure, but maybe products wise, but it seems like uh, money wise. 
He's pretty good at what he does. He's, he's, he's alright. He's alright. Apple has a higher GDP than a lot of countries. Yep. That is very true. I gotta get those vine roots. Is this for that quest that I picked up? Nipping at the undergrowth? Yeah, yeah, this is... This is for that item that I just got. Loco, I found out not too long ago that Steve Jobs was a dick. Well, it seems like most billionaires are a bit of a dick. <laughs> Turns out you don't really become a... A billionaire by being nice to everyone, right? It seems to be, like, maybe not all, but that seems to be the general, you know, the generally accepted thing. Like, you gotta burn a bunch of bridges if you want to become a billionaire, it seems. As shitty as that is. Is Bill Gates a bit of a dick? Well, he, you know, helped build those 5G towers, spread the coronavirus. Right? <laughs> if you, dude, hard never, if you look into Bill Gates, there are so many people that are hating on Bill Gates. I don't really know exactly why either. The man literally is, is responsible directly for eradicating a bunch of diseases at this point. But, you know, for some reason, according to a lot of Facebook people, a lot of Karens on Facebook, he's the root of all evil. It's it's actually like it's actually kind of disgusting man like imagine imagine you're freaking Bill Gates Right, I'm sure he did some nasty things as well, right because You don't become market leader, you know without being a bit of an ass at some point, right? But it really seems that he's tried his very best to do lots of good things he retired early enough so he could actually do some really, like, impactful things with his life. <laughs> and you get this shit. Oh. <sighs> oh, well. Collect- Okay, yeah, for your small gorger. The gorger munches loudly on the vine root, and in between mouthfuls looks at you inquisitively. So I can get this guy's amount at some point. I will get this. Coins jingle nearby falling out of many holes. So I think I have to go back here again or something tomorrow. It doesn't tell me actually what I'm supposed to do. Very odd. Loco, his wife grounded him before Bill was the same hardcore manager. Since her, he becomes much more socially focused. Uh, that's uh, wouldn't be surprising. Uh, that wouldn't be surprising at all. I don't really know about these sorts of things very much, man. But Ooh, picked up a bunch of work leaves. Oh, these are B O E. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, these are not all daily quests, no. I've only done like one daily quest, or two daily quests actually at this point. We'll do this one as well. Um, you basically have a daily to do daily quests on one of the four continents that they've added. So I'm, I'm trying to do this one. Like that's, there, there's a couple things that you should probably do every day. Like I'm mostly just trying to collect the all of the... All of the different reputations and stuff, you know, I'm just trying to complete every single side quest. So I've done every single quest in Ardenwield, other than the dailies. Um, because that was Bill Pop again, right? Or they're not even dailies, they like last a certain amount of hours. And there's like a bunch of other side quests in different areas that I also need to get done. But, um, yeah. Is that an add-on that shows you the treasure chest? I don't think so. Maybe. No, I don't think so, though.
Bill Gates did retire pretty early though, didn't he? When did he leave Microsoft as like CEO? Um Oh, I got to kill a bunch of things. Okay, I can do that. Must be a pretty crazy decision. Google says 2008 or 2000 even? He's 65 years old. Yeah, that's pretty sick. Could have easily continued doing that until right now, right? He was still, yeah, he might still have been on the board or something, right? Like, uh... Yeah. I don't really know. Anyway, I can imagine, though, like, if you're one of the top, top CEOs or top business people in the world, it must be pretty hard to step back from that. Bill Gates isn't really a good businessman, but a great engineer. I mean, even if he wasn't the best businessman ever, he... <laughs> I don't know too much about him, man, but he seems pretty successful. Even if he may have been a better engineer than a businessman. You don't become a self made billionaire uh, <laughs> just because, uh, you yeah. know. I guess it helps if you have essentially a monopoly, yeah. What level am I? I'm level 60. But that seems to be similar to like a guy, for example, like Jeff Bezos. Or sorry, not Jeff Bezos. But Jeff Bezos is like a stereotypical businessman, right? Um, what was I going to say? Elon, right? Elon Musk seems to view himself mostly as an engineer as well. But just happens to be a CEO on the side. Maybe if he's not necessarily... Uh, maybe that's not necessarily his forte to like... You know, be a CEO, but he seems to be damn good at it. He's good with people. His dominion grows weaker. Fair enough. Your reputation with the guild increases. Nice. I collected this thing. The Tithe Collector's Vessel. It's a new toy. Wow, I get to carry this thing around on my backpack. Hell yeah. Can you fly in Shadowlands? Nope. They will introduce that at some point in the future. But basically at the beginning of every expansion now, they have a thing called Pathfinder. Um, I don't even know if there is one for uh, Shadowlands yet. But basically, um, this is the one for BFA, which I didn't play too much. But basically you have a bunch of things that you need to complete, which is basically completing most of the game. And once you complete most of the game, you can unlock an achievement called Pathfinder that will be released in a later patch. And then you can fly. Oh. 
Oh god. This seems bad. Now we're fine, don't worry about it. What does Pathfinder do? Yeah, so basically that's gonna be a set of achievements that will unlock flying on this continent. It's not available yet, but it will be at some point in the future, probably. Oh, it's tied to your house in this expansion? Uh, you're gonna have to have a certain renown. Yeah, so basically you get a renown by playing the game, right? So you basically have to put in a lot of hours, and then at some point you get all the achievements that are required, and then you can fly. That's basically the TLDR of it. But early on, you can't fly. I'm not sure if they're doing a Pathfinder this expansion. They probably will, right? I actually like that system. I've never been a big fan of flying. But it makes sense to unlock it at, the, at, the, at a later time. How do I get over there, though? Witherfall Special Reserve. Bring a fancy beverage. Uh... What does it say? He fancies himself quite the connoisseur. Some ancient and stuffy vintage will tempt him. Check the old cellar near the ruins. It once held supplies. Hmm. I just don't know how to get there. Can I get over here? Can I go in here? No. Okay, fine. We'll kill all of you guys. You don't like BFA's Pathfinder? Do you mean like you don't feel like flying in general? I think flying is fine if you have done all the cool time, basically. You gave up on MMORPGs with Star Wars Galaxies. It was a finish, but I was pissed. I would never get to play as a Jedi. Wait, you couldn't play as a Jedi in a, in a Star Wars MMO? Well, uh... <laughs> Uh, there are no more PvP servers, uh, Ben. They uh, decided to get rid of those. So basically, there's now only PvP... Or sorry, there's only like what they call normal realms and RP realms. And uh, you can basically turn on a thing called War Mode. So I currently don't play with it on. But you can enlist in War Mode, which will basically make it a PvP server. But you can turn this off in Rested Zones. So you can basically turn on PvP at any point if you like to. If you go to the capital city. And then... Um, How do I go down there? I don't fucking know. Yeah, you can turn it off or on. I've got it turned off right now because a bunch of people out there think it's real funny to snipe streamers. <laughs> it's really fun, dude. Um, so, yeah. I leveled without it this time around, but you do get a 10 uh, you do get a 10% uh boost if you turn it on like the XP how do I get in there ah I don't know how to get there so it says that there's something in that cellar I'm not sure how I'm supposed to get there there was this Star Wars MMO that was usually popular and having a Jedi was basically a hardcore mode and very hard to play on unlock. They ruined it by monetizing the shit out of it. Oh, right. Yeah, that seems to be a popular thing in uh, game design. That's one of the reasons why I don't really mind the monthly subscription so much. I don't really like the fact that Blizzard decided to add a bunch of cosmetics now to this game as well. Like, there's quite a few things that you can buy at this point in the game, like mounts and stuff. It's not, like, I, I don't mind it that much, but it is a little, eh. A little bit eh. Nothing too crazy, though. It makes sense, though, I guess. It's all cosmetics? Yeah. It's not a huge deal. Do you think this is going to go anywhere? Uh... I don't think so. No. 
thinking of it a little bit more. I don't think it went too many places. How am I even gonna... I can't. Oh, dude. Oh, I can't even resurrect there, man. Can I? I don't know. I'm gonna try. I don't really want to take resurrection sickness. It mostly stems from the fact that AAA titles are getting more expensive to produce. No, I think it mostly stems from corporate greed, dude. <laughs> like, even if games are really expensive to produce, subscription money uh, is nothing to scoff at, right? But I can imagine, like, you know, if I was in charge of that, I would do the same thing, right? Like, we can all sit on our high horse and say, Oh, if I was the president of this and that company, I would never do such a thing. But if you know you can increase your revenue several billions by introducing cosmetic rewards, uh, fuck it, dude. Get it done. <laughs> uh, yeah, my character is currently dead, guys. This is what it looks like when you're dead. They've made a lot of improvements to a lot of things. Oh no, I can't even rest. Oh, this sucks, man. <laughs> I have to take rest sickness. Oh, yes, I know. Thank you for making me click two accept buttons. Dang it. Uh, how do I get this stupid quest done? A fine vintage. There's someone that made a, a video for this? Am I the only idiot that doesn't figure this sort of thing out? That door is locked. I was there. There's literally a... There's literally a ramp that leads down in that exact same room that I was already in multiple times. <clears throat> I do not want to see any low blinds in the chat right now. Guys, I was feeling not that great when I started the stream today, but do you think World of Warcraft could be uh, nursing me back to good health? Do you think it was just uh, withdrawal symptoms? <laughs> it must be, huh? That's how that works. Maybe it was just coffee, dude. Like, I had a headache earlier, right? Do you think it could have just been caffeine? Oh, no, that's not good. Drink water? No, I've drank plenty of water. Yeah, with resurrection sickness, a sickness on, you die so easily. Um... I think, I think we can do this. Fine, see? Grandmaster level moves. So you're saying... There's... <laughs> no! I was walking into this dumbass door over there for a little bit already. Turns out... I have to kill this guy, though. I literally can't. Like, with Resurrection Sickness on, your damage reduced by 75%. It's not great. Well, that's a perfect moment to, uh... Take a bathroom break, huh? Let's hope the guy doesn't... <laughs> doesn't wake up. So, exactly... 
Yeah, I think it's been 30 days since my birthday. Meaning that today is probably gonna initiate the big sub purge. Essentially, everyone who was gifted a sub on Twitch will probably have theirs running out. Um, like, when you were gifted a sub during my birthday stream, it's probably gonna run out today. Now, we were at... <laughs> yeah, maybe tomorrow. I'm not entirely sure. It's either today or tomorrow. We got about 800 subs in one day that stream, which was absolutely amazing. But, um... The only downside of that is that a month later, they're all gonna run out. So I think actually for the first time in 2020, we might low... Yeah, we might drop below 2,000 subs. I don't think we've had that actually this year. Maybe at some point we did. I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> yeah, we had an insane amount of subs on my birthday. Like 850 in one day. Like absolutely crazy. Absolutely insane. Did they, um, did Twitch, by the way, do any Black Friday deals on, like, bits or subs or whatever? I believe they did that last year, but... Only a minute remaining, by the way, guys, until Resurrection Sickness runs out. Didn't notice anything? No, me neither. Hmm. What are sub points? Oh, so basically, um, there's, like, tier 2 subs and tier th 3 subs, right? New and a tier 2 sub. Detected. Well, there you go. That's one sub point, for example. Thank you, Nico. Gifting a sub to Jin. Awesome. Um, a tier 2 sub gives you 2 sub points. And a tier 3 sub gives you 5 sub points. And new emojis and other Twitch features are, are unlocked based off of sub points. Not off of subs. If that makes any sense. Hey, thank you very much though, uh, Nico. Appreciate you. Okay. We gotta kill this dude. Don't really know why I gotta it. unlock this, but here you go, Loco. Maybe go to some way to rectifying the purge. Oh, it's all good, man. Also it's all fine. Also, a question for you: Does prismatic alignment do extra damage to armor shredded units? Armor shredded units? Detected. Ooh, that's a PVT question. Uh, no, it does not. It only does bonus damage, I think, to armored units. Thank you very much, uh, Two Ball. Was that right? I don't think it does, because that wouldn't make sense. I don't think armor shredding makes a unit's armor type different, right? That makes no sense. No, it just lowers their armor. Heart Nepper gifted actually a tier 3 sub to the community. Damn. He gave a sub to King Size. King Size, I don't know if you're even here, but if you are, you were gifted a tier 3 sub. Thank you so much. If I could see a round of hearts in the chat. For the generosity, that'd be awesome. Maybe he's not even here, man. Yeah, so for the sub points, it's the same for like the daily sellout bar at the top. The daily sellout bar in the top is also based off of sub points. Rather than uh, subs. So like if you resub as a tier five or a tier three sub or whatever, it gets five points. New so it should have just gotten. You know. Yo, magical beast! Thank you very much as well. Oh actually, that was gifted to to you by Nico. Thank you. I don't <laughs> I don't think the sub gift you just gave uh, is here, uh, Hartnepper. He might notice it on his notifications, though. I hope so. Okay. <laughs> we did the thing. All right. He's not in the chat. Maybe he'll wake up and read about it. He's not in the chat. He doesn't even watch my stream. What a hater. What's going on, Babine? In death, I am Summon Taskmaster Matthias. Back to the camp. Alright, do the thing. Yo, Gil! Oh shit, actually, hold up! Mr. Ozzy! Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy! Thank you very much, man. 
Gifting the 10 community subs. Are you guys fighting the sub perch? I was just telling it as a little fun anecdote. I wasn't meaning it as like a... <laughs> That's like a... The pity subs. That's not what I meant. But <laughs> Thank you very much, Mr. Ozzy. Very much appreciate it, man. Super generous. If I could see a huge round of hearts in the chat, that would be awesome. Here, I'll turn the room into emote only mode for a little bit. Thank you, Mr. Ozzy. Thank you also, Guiltass. New for the 44 months. Detected. There it is. Lately, I am not able to tune in that much, but at least still try to keep supporting you, though. Only way that I can. Yo, thanks for the prime sub, dude. Well, new subscriber detected. We have Heart Nepper. Gifting another community sub right there. This time around to Draxius. Straight up a tier 3 hype train, huh? Guys, I already turned off... I already turned off emote only mode. <laughs> Everyone still thinks it's emote only mode. Donation it's already off again, guys. I turned it off like after like 10 seconds, but... <laughs> when do I look the new... Uh, the next sub emote? Um, hold up. I don't actually know what it shows me on the screen. Uh, emotes. Yeah, there it is. The next sub emote is unlocked at... There you go. 3,200 subscriber points. So we're about 350 off. It's quite a lot. That's quite a lot. Now, nah, man, I have a very high amount of... Uh, like, the, the ratio of subs to viewers is very high as it is. It's pretty amazing, man. I appreciate it, guys. Very generous. Yeah, last month we were a lot away, but that's because my birthday, Bibi. <laughs> the birthday stream happened. We're getting closer, but I think a lot of those subs are gonna run out either today or tomorrow. It is quite good to see you. What do you need? I am obligated to obey. Do you think this is also the, the Statman voice actor? Yes, I'm quite busy. It what could be. Task isn't too much to ask. You're talking to me? I think that's the Statman voice actor. Thank you for your time. You have orders for me? I'll be here. Like, I think that probably added some sort of effect on it, right? But... How can I serve the esteemed Mawalker? Wow, dude, his freaking ma Look at that! I want to be a Tauren! Dude! I want to be a Tauren! What is this? Oh, never mind, never mind. He was like extra big or something. Well, it's still much bigger. Oh. You're smaller now. They're cuddly. Oh, he's got some sort of potion. Damn. He's a big boy. Time to race change to a Tauren, guys. Take me with you. This one is even dumber. <laughs> Are the high mountain Tauren as big? I think they're the same size, right? I like the high mountain Tauren quite a bit. Maybe I'll try that out at some point. Local size doesn't matter. Haven't unlocked the new races. Haven't played in 10 years. What a nerd. You are so He's done other video games than, than just this one? Can you believe this? You come anything challenging. Why would you new do other video games? Detected. Yo, Nico! Gifting a sub to Minterbet. Nico's on a roll today as well, man. I actually didn't really play WoW either for like 10 years, but it's a, it's a, it's a. How long does it take to unlock the other races from zero? Quite a while. It's not super, it's not super much work, but it does take a little bit, especially if you've never played the game before. Because then you'll, you know. The only thing I don't really like about Zundalaris, I don't know why this is, the weapons are really small. 
Like, the weapons look smaller on Zandalari. Like, they look more realistic on Zandalari than on the other races. Maybe, maybe the other races have just massive weapons, but it feels like uh, the Zandalari are kind of... Kind of slow. Hey, thanks guys for the hype train. Appreciate you. Am I weapon size shaming? Yeah, Hotnapper is quickly approaching 1,000 gifted subs. That's fucking badass. That's crazy. That's pretty nuts. Wait, how do I free you guys? Oh, for Sinstone! Oh, shit. Pretty sure the guy killed him before the Sinstone thing could complete. <laughs> That's not great. No, stop killing them all, man! Some of them might want to turn back. No, stop it! I have to turn them normal again. I don't want to kill them all, man. You will meet your true death. Don't kill. No. Stop. You bastard. Wait, is this? I don't even know how you do this. What's up, Caroline? Here's Loco again with another StarCraft 2 video. <laughs> Close enough to my intro, PewDiePie. PewDiePie. There it is. Well memed. Stop killing them, dude! Wait, I had... Mm -hmm. What? I don't understand. Yeah, I didn't think they want to join. Like, the first five or so that I tried don't want to join. We're gonna skin a couple of horses while we're here, though, because, you know, that's how we roll. Hey, dude, do you wanna... Oh. I'll read you the scroll, or the sil sin stone, rudder. Hey, there you go, mate. Bam-ba-da-ba-dow. Like a death is the only true freedom. Slaughter them all. Wow, that's very aggressive, dude. <laughs> Kathapis has no chill. Excuse me, sir. Would you like to turn back? Do you want to be one of the goodies? No? Okay, then. 